coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Archer's midnight prototype takes flight. Pentagon releases footage of Chinese aerial belligerents. B-21 Raider taxi testing underway. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Archer's Midnight Prototype takes flight. After four years of flight testing, a non-conforming prototype of Midnight, the electrically powered air taxi being developed by EVTOL maker Archer Aviation, has flown. Archer founder and CEO Adam Goldstein stated, quote, This next phase of Archer's flight test program is only possible because of the four years of flight testing we've done. Midnight is building on the successes of its predecessor aircraft and represents another significant step forward in Archer's path to commercialization. The next year and a half will be focused on continuing to rapidly advance our flight test program and Archer's electric air taxi operations as we prepare to bring Midnight to market in 2025." End quote. As Archer's flight test program soldiers ahead over the coming months, Midnight's flight envelope is expected to broaden from hover to full wingborne transition, thereby paving the way for the commencement of FAA for credit testing of the aircraft. Archer intends to continue Maker's flight test program and fly simulations of commercial routes. On May 11, 2023, Archer completed final assembly of the first full-scale Midnight aircraft and shipped the machine from the company's Palo Alto facility to its Salinas flight test installation. Component manufacturing is currently underway for Archer's conforming Midnight aircraft, which the company plans to assemble in 2023's fourth quarter. Coming up after the break, Fifth Circuit Court upholds Texas drone law. Backcountry flying to us is our playground. For us, it's how we access the things we like to do. It's just our lifestyle. We exclusively use the, the Hartzell Voyager prop, and it's proved to be um, just a great combination for what we do. What it's doing, it's, it's helping us all have better performing airplanes. Man, it feels a lot better clearing trees by 50 feet versus 20 feet. I don't ever see myself not flying. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Fifth Circuit Court Upholds Texas Drone Law In response to the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court's reversal of a lower court's ruling in NPPA v. McCraw, the National Press Photographers Association disseminated the following letter to its Texas members. Quote, as many of you know, in March 2022, a federal judge ruled that the Texas drone law was a violation of the rights of free speech and due process. We regret to report that today the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals reversed that ruling and held that the Texas drone law is constitutional. We wholeheartedly disagree with the appellate court." End quote. IADA expects a larger post-pandemic market The third quarter 2023 market report released by the International Aircraft Dealers Association predicts a significantly larger market going forward. The report includes hard sales data in addition to the perspectives of IADA's global members. IADA Executive Director Wayne Starling stated, quote, The good news is that inventories are expanding, price inflation has slowed if not slightly slipped, and supply chain quirks and bottlenecks are being ironed out industry-wide, end quote. De Havilland partners with Universal Avionics De Havilland Aircraft of Canada has selected Universal Avionics, the Tucson, Arizona-based technology concern specializing in flight management systems and cockpit instrument displays for private, business, and commercial aircraft, as its lead supplier of integrated flight decks for the Canadian Mark CL215T and CL415 firefighting aircraft. Universal Avionics' flight deck systems will support aerial firefighting operations with next-gen flight display, flight management, data communication, and connectivity systems. Meet our MAPS upgrade program announced. In response to the recent FAA AWS data migration, Meet our MAPS have developed a series of forward-looking upgrade plans. 
Subject plans, which take into account the fact that legacy processors indigenous to meet our ramps are hard-coded to seek data in digital domains no longer extant, consist of RPI, D1v1, and D1v2 solutions. Meet our maps LEDs in green indicate VFR weather conditions. Marginal VFR conditions are represented by blue LEDs. Conversely, IFR and low IFR weather conditions are denoted by red and purple LEDs, respectively. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Pentagon releases footage of Chinese aerial belligerents. The Pentagon has released footage of only a portion of the more than 180 intercepts of U.S. warplanes undertaken by Chinese aircraft over the last two years. The number exceeds the total such incidents transpired over the preceding decade and underscores an evolving, eminently worrying trend. The described photos and video were released in advance of the Pentagon's soon-to-be-issued annual report on China's military power and the security threats to the U.S. and its allies posed thereby. The Pentagon has endeavored for years to ready itself and the forces under its command for a potential conflict with China over Taiwan. U.S. readiness, however, is at an all-time low as the Biden administration has prioritized certain global conflicts. At a Pentagon press briefing, Admiral John Aquilino, head of U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, opined the U.S., despite deploying vast tracts of its military assets to support Ukraine and Israel, is ready to take on China. Aquilino's assertions are sharply contradicted by former Indo-Pacific Command Chief Admiral Harry Harris, who stated on October 17th that the U.S. is ill-prepared to face off against China and must take immediate steps to replenish war stores given over to the Russo-Ukraine conflict. After these messages, B-21 Raider taxi testing underway. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. B-21 Raider taxi testing underway. Northrop Grumman and the USAF have commenced taxi testing of the B-21 Raider, the U.S.'s newest and most technologically advanced combat-capable stealth bomber. In addition to conceding the bomber is, quote, conducting ground taxi activities, end quote, a USAF spokesperson set forth, quote, rigorous testing is a critical step in the B-21 flight test program. Extensive testing evaluates systems, components, and functionalities. This testing allows us to mitigate risks, optimize design, and enhance operational effectiveness, end quote. The most recent photos of the first B-21 depict the aircraft outside its hangar at Northrop Grumman's facility at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. Social media sites dedicated to monitoring Plant 42, a storied and highly secretive installation at which Lockheed Martin and Boeing also have facilities and novel aircraft are the norm, have, since October 23rd, consistently reported something moving at Northrop's end of the facility. Taxi tests presuppose the completion of outdoor engine runs and typically assess an emergent aircraft's ground handling qualities at slow and medium speeds. Described as a production representative, the B-21 currently undergoing taxi testing is one of six specimens of the bomber known to be in some stage of production. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.